our God is the timeless one. Psalm 90 and verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In John chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, where the Lord Jesus said that the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. So God is looking for people who worship Him in spirit and truth. And very foundational to our worship of God in spirit and truth is to know who He really is, to recognize His infiniteness and to recognize His greatness and to recognize His attributes, that this is who our God is. Of course, we are not going to understand or comprehend God entirely, but we can recognize some of His attributes. And over the course of this week, we just want to highlight and just remind us of some of the attributes of God so that out of that, we begin to worship Him for who He really is. We saw here in Psalm 90 and verse 2, the psalm is saying, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. So our God is the timeless one. That means He is constant and time as we know it passes by. But our God is eternal. From everlasting to everlasting, He remains as God. He's unchangeable. We could put it this way, that God dwells in the eternal now. That means even all of eternity, this vast expanse of eternity, the everlasting past, so the eternal past and the eternal future, to God is just now. It's like a moment. And so God dwells in the eternal now. He is the timeless one. And so for us, thousands of years is just like a, a moment for God or even less than a moment for God. He dwells in eternity. He inhabits timelessness. He inhabits eternity. So when we worship God, we recognize God as the timeless one. He never faints. He never go, grows weary with the passage of time. He doesn't change over time. That even as time passes by, He remains constant. He is the timeless one. And so we offer Him praise. We offer Him worship. Everything else around Him would decay, would pass away, but He remains unchanged. He dwells outside of time. And some of these things, even our minds cannot fathom. Our minds cannot comprehend uh, this eternal God who is timeless. Uh, time doesn't affect who He is. Time doesn't change who He is. But yet, we worship Him out of, uh, out of just this understanding that God dwells in eternity, that from everlasting to everlasting, He is God. We call Him the Eternal One, the Timeless One, and we worship Him, we bow down before Him uh, in recognition of this great attribute which no, other, no one else has, no one else uh, contains in, in all of creation. There is no one else like Him. He alone is the timeless one. Let's worship Him for that. Let's pray. Father, we recognize that You are from everlasting to everlasting. That God, we cannot understand this, but You are the God who is timeless. You are the God who remains unchanged. Even the millions of years that have gone by, millions of years that would come and go, You remain unchanged. You are eternal, everlasting God and we worship you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.